What is up guys? It is Infinite Possibilities and I'm going to show you how to have more than one Fusionfall account on the same PC. So you can actually have more than one, two, three, four accounts or more if you if you have a powerful computer on the same PC. So as you can see right here, I have uh, my character Grinding God. I have my character Mr. World Boss, I have my character Party Planner without a head for some reason, and I have my character Speed Force. And what I want to do first is I just want to demonstrate to you that this actually works. And before I do any of that, I just want to state, and you're probably wondering, is this allowed? Is this something if you were to do would you get banned over it and the answer to that is no you're very likely not going to get banned from this i talked with the developer devin if i could make a tutorial for this and he stated that it's okay for me to do this now if there's a community team member or if there's another developer that is seeing this video right now and they don't want me to upload this video then that's absolutely okay I'm going to respect your comment and I'm going to go delete it as soon as possible so I'm gonna show you myself logging in and if you just want to know the tutorial I'm gonna have a timestamp uh, at the beginning of the video and let's just log in, enter the game, enter the game, enter the game, and I'm not going to log in with Mr. World Boss. Um, I'm going to log into him later for the video. So, alright, I have my character Speed Force here. Party Planner has already loaded up. I'm currently waiting for my other two characters, and here we have uh, all four of my characters. I actually have a lot more accounts, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just showing you this. So uh, here, here they are. You've seen Speed Force before uh, with his racing tutorials. You have not seen Grinding God before. You might see him in the future. I have no plans for him yet and uh, I have my character party planner you've seen party planner in my legendary grinding results and and a whole bunch of other videos uh, so obviously I can move around I can do anything as I please uh, and let me yep here I am moving around this is all real this is this is not a joke uh, and So there are a lot of app applications for this method. Uh, I'm going to talk about the applications once I show you the tutorial. But again, I just want to show you that this is actually real. Uh, so now that I've shown you that this is possible, I'm going to I'm not going to show you how to do this. So I'm just going to go close all of these windows and uh, log out. And uh, I'm also going to log out from Mr. World Boss. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm, I'm going to blur out this part. Obviously, I can't let you know my login information. And uh, and and in order f for you to do this, how do you do this? It's very simple. Um, you don't need any application, you don't need any third-party program. Um, what you want to do is just simply load up the purple icon and you obviously log in as per usual and obviously you're going to need more than one account for yourself to do this. Uh, and this is important, you press play now. And what you want to do is go to the bottom where your Fuse and Fall Retro game is and where all of these other bottom icons are located and just press right click on your mouse press task manager and and uh, you can see there's this purple icon here called the universe launcher dot exe 32-bit uh, if you were to log into your 
task manager it would usually uh, show this one first here I'll, I'll go show it again you open it up right click with your mouse task manager and what you want to do is scroll down and look for a purple icon that says universe launcher exe 32-bit and what you want to do is press end task right here and that's the key for yourself to have more than one account on the same PC so load up the purple icon again your launcher and what you're gonna do is log on to your other accounts and obviously again this is going to be blurred and I'm going to show you again and this is an important part always make sure that you press play now you can't close you can't go to the task manager and close it then you first need to load the game as you can see right now and then open up the task manager so again as always right click task manager and scroll down and look for the purple icon universe launcher.exe 32-bit and press end task so I'm gonna go try and speed things up uh, I'm, I'm just gonna try and load up the rest of my of my accounts uh, okay so I have all of them loaded now and I do have one big caveat that you need to go pay attention so if you have a non gaming PC you can only load up uh, more one or two accounts if you have a gaming PC like mine I spent more than two thousand dollars on this PC uh, you can load in as much as you want uh, the fifth account which is uh, Mr. World Boss, I'm. He's going to be demonstrated later. So again, I'm going to go show you the application part of this. There's um there's several applications here that will give you a tremendous advantage with your peers. And my advantage, if everyone knows this and if everyone is doing this, then is that advantage still an advantage? You're now on equal playing fields. So I have my character here, and I'm going to load up. Uh, grinding God first just grinding God and uh, plumber infinity uh, and so the first application that I want to talk about would have to be trading when before you knowing this you might have struggled with that dilemma of transferring items right and there were some possibilities where you can do this. The first possibility is when you can have another computer. If you're fortunate enough to have another computer, you would log on and you would trade between two computers. The second possibility would have to be through email. And I'm making this at a time when Fusion Fall Retro is, I don't know, seven, eight months old. And it was only now at this point where, where we finally have email. And the third option, uh, which, is, which is somewhat risky, is by asking a friend to help you transfer items, especially when it comes to mass transferring items, such as like an entire bank. Uh, and for all three of them, uh, for all three of them, I would not recommend that if you know this method. So I'm going to show you um, right now. So I'm going to invite to trade with my character and I'm going to have this message as per usual as if I'm like another account on another PC and I'm for example I'm going to trade in this overlap jacket press submit and press accept and as you can see I have the, the jacket with me on my character now so that's one major application that you can do with this. You can use uh, your your alt, and what an alt means alternative, which means like your secondary or more characters. Uh, that is not your main character. My main character at this point right now is actually not even Plumber Infinity. I'm focusing on recent tutorials. It's my main character at this point would be uh, Speed Force. Um, so that's the first application. Now the second application right here will give you a tremendous uh, efficiency when it comes to grinding. So I'm going to load up my character Party Planner and I'm going to load up my character Speed Force and what you're going to see here 
is something that will tremendously and significantly uh, reduce the amount of time it takes for yourself to go grind and obtain an item. So generally speaking when it comes to grinding with an alt, uh, if you've seen my fire pits video I have a I'm, I, I, I'm gonna show you the clip through video through the power of video editing. I can I have my party planner going to this one area and generally speaking what you want to do or I might use that clip with uh, fuses there um, what, whatever whatever I decided for the video editing but when it comes to grinding with your alts what you want to do is for yourself to place your alts on a safe spot to prevent monsters from from attacking them. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the best example here right now, and of course, I'm just gonna show you that video clip. But um, I'm, I'm gonna just move my my characters right here. This is not a this is not a safe spot at all. Oh no, it, it is kind of a safe spot. Uh, there's no monsters in this range, and I'm gonna go and uh, move my grinding god character here, and I'm gonna move my party plan character over there and I'm gonna move my main character plumber infinity there main character is all relative okay so just invite to group and uh, Oops, I need to go to Plumber Infinity. Plumber Infinity needs to be the one who uh, sends the invites. Uh, Grinding God. Grinding God gets the invitation. And back to Plumber Infinity. And uh, Speed Force will get the invitation. So, another important thing that you have to do is for yourself to have a stopwatch and this is very extremely important because there is this time limit where it where if your character does not move and by movement it means just like pressing the enter key if you don't press the enter key if you don't press the space key if or you know if you don't click the game after 15 minutes your character your alt will get kicked away for being inactive so what you're going to have to try and do is for yourself to go load up a stopwatch and if you're using windows there's a built-in stopwatch uh, so just type in a stopwatch it's going to show in alarms and clock and what you want to try and do is you want to make a timer for uh, 13, 14, 13, uh, four, 14 minutes. 14 minutes is what I usually do and what this does is that it notifies me that every after every 14 minutes I'm going to move my character so they don't get kicked out. So I'm, I'm not going to go grind right now but that's important. Okay so now I'm going to demonstrate to you the power of having multiple characters uh, with you on the same team. Now obviously when you, you know when you're inside of a group if a team member receives a crate then you also receive a crate. Um, if you receive a gold crate all of your team members receive a gold crate. Um, in fact when I was doing a recording for this, uh, a pre-recording, I actually got myself a gold crate and all four of my characters uh, got a gold crate and I, and I got this. Um, so I'm gonna go look for a character, uh, a monster, hopefully one that's in range, uh, right here. And again, you have to make sure that the char that your characters, your alts, will is within the same radius as you. And what does that mean? Okay, good. Um, I'll explain that in a bit. So I, I got a crate, right? And my characters are right here. Hopefully, they all got a crate. I got a silver crate and I got an uncommon and uh, okay okay I got another silver crate I got another uncommon and uh, party planner you're lagging on me that's okay and I noticed that uh, 
want to do a recording for some odd reason, even though I have an expensive gaming computer, if I were to record with Camtasia, opening up the inventory takes a while, so I might have to go edit that part out. Uh, so I'm going to go pause this. I noticed that if I were to pause it, the inventory actually loads up. Oh, looks like I don't have to do this for this one. Oh, <laughs> I took off my pants. And another silver crate, I got myself a rare and uh, with party planner. Oh, you close that inventory. Uh, it's kind of lagging right now. Which, again, doesn't make any sense. I think it's the recorder, the recorder that's doing this. Uh, again, I tried using OBS. It doesn't work out with me. So I'm just going to go pause the video, and then it's going to load up the inventory. Okay, I paused it, and uh, I got myself, uh, I got myself uh, another crate. So this is a massive deal. This is a massive deal because um, I'm just going to throw in, uh, throw a number. So like, well, not throw a number. So if you've seen my legendary grinding results, uh, I stated that it took me 10 plus hours to grind an entire inventory of gold crates. Now, that's not necessarily true. That's only kind of like the half truth, but it's still, you know, a lie. If there's, a, if you have a rotten apple and half of it is rotten, uh, you know, the apple's rotten. Uh, and so it's not really 10 hours. If I were to purely grind by myself to have an entire inventory of gold crates, those 10 hours, it's not really 10 hours. It w It's actually uh, two hours. It's actually 20 hours long. Um, before I had, before I purchased my gaming PC, which was at the time of this uploading, uh, less than two weeks ago, uh, I I only could load up one 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 of my alts, which was oftentimes Party Planner. Now with my gaming computer, I can have um, even two more alts, and I can finish my grinding uh, much more fast. So let me just pull out my calculator. So. If it takes you 20 hours just by yourself to uh, have an entire inventory full of gold, and if you were to load up, if you were privileged enough, or I'm not privileged, I use my own money to buy this computer with my own job. Uh, so if you have, if it takes you 20 hours, uh, if you have four characters in the group, and if you divide that by four, obviously you're going you're gonna to get five. So instead of 20 hour grind, it's going to be a five hour grind to get yourself that full inventory of gold. And for the people listening and for the people that are experiencing grinding, it, sometimes it doesn't even take 10 hours. Sometimes it, is, it doesn't even take uh, 20 hours. Sometimes it can take 15 hours depending on the frequency and how many mobs there are. If, if, if it comes in a group of three, if they're, if they're close by. Uh, if, if, if like how's the terrain and that's the that's the major application there um, now another advantage that you can use with this would have to be warping so I'm going to uh, let's see I'm going to um, you I'm gonna switch out of my party planner character and I'm gonna change character and I have much more alts and I actually have characters conveniently located for example at Fuse's Lair because I, I grind there often so I can collect myself a whole, a whole bunch of ultra rares. I have my character Agent Bond. You've seen him before in previous videos such as the Shrunken Heads grinding results. He's on the very top right here at Fuse's Dome. Great view and uh, I'm gonna load my and with that, I can load my my plumber infinity my plumber infinity account. Um, it looks like I don't have them added because I always have a full buddy list. I'm gonna add my character Agent Bond. He's inspired because of Agent Bond. Uh, that and I'm gonna warp to Agent Bond. And as you can see, I at just very instantly I can warp from one area to another. So I actually have characters placed at Peach Creek Commons. I have characters placed at Mount Blackhead. I have characters placed uh, 
at common grinding spots and common places that where you would commonly see people and it's it, it's incredibly convenient uh, so instead of asking for people or wasting taros you can just load up one of your alts and cut through and cut through that middleman process or that long and tedious journey to get to that location um, so I, I talked to you about trading, I talked to you about grinding, I talked to you about the non-gaming PC limitations uh, you can, where you can only run one or two extra accounts. Um, now the last thing that I want to try and show uh, would have to be this little cap, would have to be this little thing that I've discovered. I'm not sure if it's going to load up or not. Um, so here's Mr. World Boss. And I noticed that if I were to run more than four accounts, uh, the game actually gives me this message where it can't load any more assets. So my computer can definitely load a lot more accounts. In fact, uh, let me show you my task manager. Uh, it, it it's not really having any stress stress with this. Uh, it's gonna take a while for me to load. Yeah, I'm just going to speed up that part. And looks like... Hmm. Alright, okay. So, looks like it's not showing the message. But sometimes, if I were to load up more than five accounts, and this was happening the first time when I got my PC, it would show that message where it's not... It doesn't have enough space to load, uh, load an asset. And... Uh, what would happen is that if you were to press that message, what would happen is that it would close the window that you are using and you're only stuck with uh, four accounts, but it looks like it's not the case for for this for this time. So um, so yeah, there's a lot of applications with this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna warp back to uh, Speed Force. I'm not I don't have any purpose here. Uh, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you can load up more that's how you can load up your accounts and i hope this was helpful and again if there's a a ct a community team member or if there's a developer that is watching this and you don't and you disprove of my of this tutorial then i will take it down as soon as possible there are two things that i want to go mention the first thing that i want to go mention would have to be i have a non-gaming pc and even if i were to go load up one extra account I'm unable to really move with the game and again I can relate with that because when I had my former PC my computer also experienced that so what I did to fix that problem or to lower the impact of the lag when you have uh, a non-gaming PC and you, if you were to load an account is is pretty simple you just go to settings and what you do is go to detail level and you put it down to good performance or best performance and again depending on the severity uh, you can either put it on good or best for myself my computer was okay so I just put mine on good performance and uh, that's how you can prevent yourself from all of that lag and this is actually also important in a way because it also uh, prevents you from crashing and uh, and making your game freeze up. So here's that nice transition. By lowering the detail level, you, you also get to lower the odds, the possibility that your game is going to crash. Now, given a scenario which is probably going to happen for you if you have a non-gaming PC, is when you is when you're going to have is when your game does crash or when your game does not respond and you're unable to close it the the traditional way where, where you can just press the X button at the window. Now if that does happen to you, what you want to try and do is for yourself to just open up the task manager and I can't really give that example because I, I can't really simulate uh, the game crashing or freezing up. Now I have two of these, right? And if you're to look at CPU, uh, 
one window is showing 8% and the other window is also showing 8%. But I just need you to imagine uh, that one of them it has like 0% CPU or like less than 3% CPU. Generally speaking, uh, almost always, the one with the lowest CPU is the one that is uh, not responding. And why am I bringing this up? Because obviously you have two windows to applications of Fusion Fall and you don't know which one which one is acting up. The one that is usually acting up that you need to go close down is the window uh, is the application that has uh, less than five percent not, not, not less than five percent but it's usually the one with the lowest CPU. Uh, sometimes I act sometimes that's not necessarily the case and sometimes the one with the higher CPU is the one that's freezing up but almost always it's the one with the lowest CPU. Yeah thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again. Bye.